with it being 2024 and a new year, I'd like to give some feedback and advice for the developers of Death Bowl to try to make the game just, you know, keep growing and growing. They have like an active base, active player base of like 35k players, which is really well. So I applaud them for that. But I just want to give some feedback. Um, but before we get to that video, please hit that like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100k and I need you guys' help. So let's begin. My first piece of advice of what Death Ball needs to do for 2024 is continue to do consistent updates. I got my notepad right here, so just taking notes. And essentially, they just need to keep doing what they were doing last year, um, or yeah, 2023, where they just need to keep coming out pretty frequently with, um, you know, more boss battles, more maps, maybe bigger maps, maybe special game modes that are like tiny maps, you know, super giant maps more champions and just keep consistently doing that and from what i looked at on the discord server and discord server sub said himself thank you for making 2023 so special for us this year is going to be crazy with all the stuff we got planned and then we have a new year for gems so uh, you know it looks like they got a lot of stuff coming so that's hopefully they will definitely meet the requirements for consistent updates and such the second thing that i think that they should be doing <clears throat> for this year is to incentivize uh to give more gems in general because not everyone has you know even though it's really cheap like jim toki is really cheap for a character but not everyone can pay, uh, you know pay that some people are free to play exclusively and i think they should add in you know they should add in um like three daily quests a day maybe like two weekly quests maybe a monthly quest that and then it gives you it gives free to play players and just players in general a more opportunity to just get more gems um and i think that would really help because i get messaged decently on discord not like a crazy amount but i get messaged here and there that people are asking for like godly weapons and such because they have like no gems and granted maybe they're not playing the game maybe they're not playing the game um a lot but still i think there's situations where people just um it's harder for free to free to play people who can't who can't play the game for like 10 plus hours and such and get a lot of gems now there's two uh specific things i need to talk about that i think that can really help death Ball grow a lot more in 2024 but they have to be executed really well and it's <clears throat> and it's going to refer to the ranked gameplay now this ranked gameplay can be done really well or really badly and regardless if this ranked fails um death ball did a really good job at making a very casual game meaning if this fails it doesn't matter the game's still gonna be popular the game will not die people are still gonna enjoy it but what they can do is they can take they could take the rank game mode and if they could execute it really well really well then they can really just grow their player base because i think that's the one thing that blade ball just has over um death ball it just blade ball i think has a more competitive feeling to it and i think people look at at blade ball it's just a very fun competitive game and that's really well done and now if death ball can take you know take their game and then also implement a really good rank system a really good competitive system and, and incentivize people to come from like you know blade ball and play over here because they have a really cool you know competitive system i think that can help grow the you know the player base for death ball so I'm going to give some advice on how they should, you know, really implement this ranked system here. The first thing I want to tell the developers of Death Ball is do not release ranked prematurely. I do not care if a bunch of people are asking for it. If the ranked is not done well, do not release it early. And because there's a reason for this. Because, because here's the thing is essentially you have one shot of executing the rank gameplay to bring in a lot of people so let's say you let's say the developers make the rank gameplay and it's really bad and you get like five ten thousand people from a you know blade ball or whatever or just in general to the ranked and then they realize like oh it's not good and then they leave maybe some will stay but most of them will leave and then the chances of you, you know, updating the ranked gameplay and getting more people to come back again after that first initial release of a ranked game mode is probably low. So what you want to do 
is essentially it's just work on that ranked game pl ranked game mode and make sure when it comes out that it's pristine because when you release rank game mode and then you advertise it on your server and this and that and try to hook as many people additional people to your game as um as possible you want that rank game mode to be pristine so you can keep as much people as you can so what the developers have to do is figure out a way to really just incentivize, to really advertise when the rank comes out. And when, hopefully when it comes out, um, people will like it. And because if they don't like it, what will happen is less people will play ranked, which means there will be less lobbies. The servers you'll be playing like on, you know, across the world, the servers will have a higher ping. And if you have a higher ping, it's really annoying to play a game like this. So... Depo really has to make sure that they do a really good job when rank comes out and, and just really just entice people to play the game. So create incentives as well in the rank, you know, top 100 players get this or this and that, the special weapon, you know, stuff like that to really keep people. And I think you Depo can really do a good opportunity of keeping a really solid, you know, like casual, you know, player base. But they could also take advantage on the fact that Rank Mode has not been released yet to try to bring in a competitive base as well. I still think uh, Death Ball will always be more of a casual game with a higher ratio of casual players to competitive players t t than something like a Blade Ball. But still, you could they can still capitalize on this if they can implement it really well. And I just hope that they do, because if they do, they can really bring in, like, a lot of, like, you know, players. Like, if people from Blade Ball, like, try to rank mode for the first time, and let's say they fall in love with it, and they're like, you know what, I have two hearts, I have these four abilities. It's not just one ability, and it's just not, like, pay to win, and it's just, like, it feels more skill-based. That could really just hook in a competitive, uh, you know, thing, and really just make Death Ball to continue to prosper. But with the flip side here, something I want to tell Death Ball uh, the developers here is whatever you do, do not try to put all your eggs into ranks and just like sacrifice like casual, you know, uh, game modes and such and the player base from the um, from that thing. You guys probably already know that, but just to like really just throw it out there that like your guys' bread and butter, the most of your guys' players are casual people. So just don't, you know, change the game dramatically where it's very competitive based. But just make it more, uh, make competitive base more of a supplement to the game mode. Uh, so you can just still, you know, you don't want like a majority of your player base to like leave because it's, they feel like it's too competitive based. And they're always getting sweats in each lobby and this and that. So, yeah. So with that being said, that's a, a lot of information right there. Um, I, hopefully, you know... The developers can look at this video and I'm, I'm not expecting them to like implement everything and all this but like if i can just help in some degree you know even if it's a little bit i i i still you know want to be able to help this game i really do like this game the game's really fun and i'm really looking forward to 2024 so um we'll see what the developers do